Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Madam Web. Um, yeah, that's coming out this weekend, right? Mm -hmm. For Valentine's Day. Uh, so if, if there's somebody you really, really hate, you're going to take them to go see Madam Web. That's, that's the message I am getting from the reviews. They are not good. It's in the 20s on Rotten Tomatoes, and people are projecting uh, a very, very dismal box office for this movie. Well, the, the box office has been dismal for a while. So oh, yeah, but like this is this seals same. it. Like, if it, if it wound up being a decent movie, a passable movie, you might have got more people there. But, like, everything I'm seeing, people are posting on social media, like, literally nobody is buying advanced but tickets. All, yeah, oh, yeah. Thing. See, I was saying, if it was only critics, we haven't heard the audiences, because sometimes they disagree. But the critics are saying it's it's... I don't think so. Not good. <laughs> it didn't look very good. This is I have a no interest in it. This, this looks like a movie that really, really, really doesn't need to exist. And this is like scraping the bottom of the spider barrel here. Like, okay, we got these like leftover Spider-Man characters that we can make they're movies all women. out. Yeah, they're all women, but we're going to make a movie out of it. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? I was joking that they were going to do what? Are you going to do like Young Aunt May or, or Peter's parents or something? And supposedly, oh, spoiler. Yes! Spoiler, they're in the movie. Well, no, it's Uncle Ben and his and his mom, and Peter's mom. Okay. That are in the movie. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so. That's the, that's the rumor. Venom makes sense because Venom was a, a character that was very popular himself. So that a Venom movie totally makes sense. And that is it. Of all the uh, leftover Spider-Man characters, of all the villains, the only one I could see that would be worth doing a movie, Venom, maybe Doc Ock. But no, we, we got Madam Web. So let's uh, let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, yeah, woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, this is coming from comicbookmovie.com. Madam Web's Rotten Tomatoes score has been revealed, but how does it compare to Morbius? How does it? Uh, they said that they're they're battling superhero fatigue. Meanwhile, with this, <laughs> well, people <laughs> like women put more tits in it. Put more tits in it. You're battling superhero fatigue, but uh, Deadpool and Wolverine broke records for the most views for a mm -hmm. movie trailer in 24 hours. Mm -hmm. It's it's which superheroes, right? Madam freaking Web starring the uh, the lady from, is this why it's coming out on Valentine's Day? Fifty Shades. The Fifty Shades girl, right? Uh, starring her, which makes no damn sense. I, apparently, I guess she's younger in the newer comics, but I remember her being an old, old lady. Um, nobody wants this movie. Nobody wants it. Uh, with a total of 31 reviews counted as of the time of recording this, Madam Web has a rotten score of 23%. Yeah, there's only 31, but still, yeah, I don't think it, nobody else could be bothered. Of it, it looks very uninteresting. Now let's, let's see if it's, uh, have we got any more? If it's, oh my oh, God, it got, <laughs> it got worse. Oh no. So now we have twice as many reviews, 17%. Oh my God. The critics are review bombing this movie. They just hate women. Oh and my they God! Hate strong female leads and a female buddy mashup film. They hate. They hate it. Their their masculinity is threatened because it's all men. Oh wait, there's a woman, but it's all men. She's an internalized <laughs> misogynist. They're just intimidated by uh, strong female characters and they're review bombing this film, guys. One of one it's, of the, lot, it's almost all women. It's a bunch of women. There are Valerie. <laughs> we got Valerie here. God, God I can't wait. No, see, when they Lindsay. do it, it's okay. But when audiences, when audiences say it sucks, it's review bombing. Bleeding Cool. Caitlin Booth from Bleeding Cool says it's terrible. A lot of women. They don't like it. Wow. One dude. Alonzo likes it. Uh, Christy likes it from Roger Ebert. No, but, but look, it's 2.5 out of 4. Yeah. Again, these are not like glowing reviews. This is like, Madam Web is not the unmitigated disaster that's clunky trailer or calendar spot in February would suggest. It's not the worst movie ever made, but it's pretty, pretty damn bad. God. And then this uh, Deandra reviews. How the hell did this random person with it again, 2.5 out of four. Within first, wait, wait, the house is within five minutes of Madam Web. I heard it in my head. It's morbid time. That's not something I, I want to hear in my head. The film spins a really good, Spends a really good time by being entertainingly terrible. Oh my God. Some might call camp. Frankly, after seeing it, I'm ready for Craven. I'm not. That's not the one I'm just like, no. mm. wait. So your your pro your positive things is because you thought it's morbid time and it's so bad, it's funny and it's campy and good because it's so terrible. That's not that's not a win. That's not a win. Oh my god. That is not the win you think it is. Oh my god, this is bad. Uh so we don't have any audience scores. Two, uh, two hours, it's two hours long. And it's effing God, two hours of this? This is awful. Bad in ways even debacles like Catwoman and Batman and Robin never broached. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> wow. Wow. This isn't going to reverse. This is a positive. It isn't going to reverse the ongoing decline of superhero cinema, but unlike some of its notable contemporaries, it's strong enough to make some its in intended sequels feel like promises rather than threats. God, what did they give you, Alonzo? Did you get like a free sippy cup with, with Mam Webb on or something? Did they give you something? They had to give you something. They probably gave him the uh, the Dune popcorn bucket early. Oh, my God. Uh, wow. Okay, so this is this is coming from a woman. Culture mix, Carla. Hey, Madam Webb and the Marvels are the dumb and dumber of female-led <laughs> Marvel Comics superhero <laughs> movies. After oh triumphs God. like Black Widow and Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, it's a travesty. That Madam Web is a low point in wannabe feminist superhero film. You're allowed wannabe. to say that, Carla. You're an internalized misogynist who doesn't like doesn't like uh, strong female characters and don't know what doesn't know what's good. Grace Randolph, a new low for Sony Spider Manless movies. I, again, who the hell thought it was a good idea to make movies about Spider Man side characters? Madam Web is connected to the source material in name only and seems more like a bland, watered-down episode of Netflix's Jessica Jones or the CW's Birds of Prey than a professional film. Oh. Yikes. Madam Web, it looks like it means well, but the film's villain problem will be even more problematic down the line, okay? I don't know. I don't There's a lot of women. A lot of women lot of hate female this. female uh, reviewers who are now going to be told they are afraid of strong uh, female characters. Sony doesn't know what to do with the Spider-Verse. No, you, no shit. you know what you do with the Spider-Verse? You put Spider-Man in the movie and you make a good Spider-Man movie and you make money every time. Every time. A car crash would be more interesting. Oh, God. Madam Webb is a, is a fender bender. Nothing calamitous. Just a time, time suck. suck. And in and a way, it's a waste. A waste. <laughs> 1.5 out of 5. Not only is the latest edition of the Marvel canon lacking a true emotional course devoid of many key elements that make a movie successful in the translation from the screen to the audience's Ooh, psyche. Look, look. It is the cat. Oh, movie, my God. A superhero movie. It's not a single decision. Seems to sound like <laughs> a single performance. Feels in sync with the material. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Nothing stands out. The way it's directed, the dialogue, the writing, the performances. Oh, wait, wait, Rachel. Oh my God! Rachel Leishman gave it the tomato. Of she, course, she's going to go on about it. You guys need to keep your your opinions about, Mar about, about uh, Captain Marvel out of out of your mouths. Filled with the cheesy <laughs> dialogue we're used to in comics, Madam Web recognizes the origin that it's trying to sell. Be careful, guys! If you tell her that she's full of shit, she's going to accuse you of being a bitch and say that you're, yeah. you're that you aren't really a fan like she we, is. We didn't do a video on it, but she went after Nerdrotic. She went after Gary at Nerdrotic. They're saying what everybody already knows: is yeah. Doctor Who's dead. Doctor Who's dead. It died with Peter Capaldi, right? And and uh, then she's like, you know, this bitch has never watched Doctor Who in his life as he shows off his massive collection of Blu-rays, DVDs, and action figures. The guy's a huge, huge, huge Whovian and Lord of the Rings fan, and he's got all the, the dork stuff to prove it. He owned a comic shop in San Francisco, of all places, for years. And, uh, yeah, bigger bigger nerd than Rachel Leishman. And she didn't even do basic research. She's supposed to be a journalist. She didn't, so I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't trust anything. Basically, whatever <laughs> she says, do the opposite. Yeah, that might be, that might be tweet-worthy right there. Like, yeah, one of the few... Positive reviews from Adam Webb comes now from... Now she's going to tell everybody how they're, they're, they're toxic men. Today I owe Morbius an apology. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> because it turned out that Sony just needed a little more time and a whole lot of misplaced confidence to make an even worse Spider-Man spinoff. The astoundingly abysmal Madam Webb. Oh, my God. I can't even. It may it's be a the... Pepsi ad populated by performances. Might be the most shameless superhero movie of all time. It's a two-hour post credit scene made only intermittently tolerable by Dakota Johnson's underappreciated knack for comedy. She's funny. I just, I don't know why, I don't know why anybody thinks this is going to be good. I mean, the idea was good. The premise was not good. The premise was not good. The idea was not good. Everything I've seen this leading up to here is not good. I mostly looked at it like, eh, the whole time. Eh, don't care. Yeah. But I'll be accused of being an eternalized misogynist now. God. Yeah. Oh my God. Madam Web is a superhero movie that feels like it was made by and for people who have never seen a modern superhero movie. Wait, we go back down to the one person like positive. Her. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Look at this guy, Dave Lee. A clunky, goofy mess. However, there's an ultimate joy in the ham fisted adventure 
Unintentionally hilarious dialogue, corny villain, cringeworthy moments, lazy Easter eggs, a superb ensemble of cheesy performances lead to an ironically enjoyable romp. So if you go in there knowing it's dog shit and you just want to go in because it's a train wreck and you, you're going to laugh at it, you'll like it. <laughs> so I guess it's all in perspective. If you want to go, if you want to, you want to laugh your ass off oh about God. something being really, really bad, go see this movie. Yeah. And then you can think it's good. It's going to get its ass it's kicked. It's all how you perceive it going in. It's going to get its ass kicked. Absolutely, positively. I think Bob Morley is going to beat it. And, like, the box office isn't too good now, but this is this is not. Is that, like, the, the opening, or is that what they're thinking total? Uh, I think they they think it's going to open, uh, too. Let's see. They're, they think that, um, oh, the six-day Valentine's Day, President's <laughs> Day stretch, <laughs> 20 to $25 million that, wait, 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 over six wait. days. So now we're doing... Now we're doing Valentine's Day? Yes, we're going to do the- It's supposed to gross $30, $35 million compared the, to the Marvel. The case. Valentine's Day, President's Day stretch. Now we've got a six-day weekend. So the six-day weekend- No, they're saying 30 to 35. No, they said that- uh, Oh, that's Marley. Marley's going to do 30 to 35. Oh my God, that's bad. Yeah, um, Ant-Man the Wasp did $120 million in its four-day opening a year ago. And many poured cold water on that result. They're counting six days as an opening weekend. Yes, and then Dune Two comes out beginning of March. So I can't. that's that's the whole I can't. thing. This thing's dead on arrival. It might be worth watching just to see how bad it is, but like, yeah, there we go, guys. Uh, Madam Web looks pretty awful. You gonna go see it? I think people might go see it just because they're hearing how bad it is. They want they want to go like see how bad it actually is. But. Oh my god! All right, we're gonna wrap this up. Yes. Let's wrap this up. Please subscribe. We'll talk later. Bye.